Brum. Here we are. It is the modern Phalanx Scrum. I am still lacking my banner. Uh, the Google Hangout toolbox uh, is in its second day of absence. I haven't tried rebooting Chrome or heard back from the uh, all the, but I have. Uh, I was phoned yesterday by the uh, Google uh, Enterprise Support after opening a ticket about this uh, Hangout API changes issue. Uh, I just had a response this morning from the technical person who I had sent all of the details of our Google Hangout plugin to, and he uh, reiterated what's in that Hangout API saying, yes, uh, from April 25th, only a very select few, like three or four uh, Google official uh, plugins will continue to work with the, uh, the Hangouts. Um, I haven't followed up on that, uh, but uh, I mean, I, I kind of, you know, I, I'll push back a little bit, but I, it, it seems like we can pretty much rely on it from April 25th. Um, it, it, there's a high probability that the, the, the Google Hangout plugin will stop uh, working. Uh, Pat was just mentioning um, the new Facebook uh, um, video conferencing thing, and uh, we're also talking about it in the Tech Talk channel, uh, Aresh was mentioning WebRTC again. You know, there's like building our own system. I mean, there's also Zoom. Uh, I think particularly as I move to doing more, more and more scrums and less very long pairing sessions, Zoom, which were for the free tier is just 40 minutes, is a uh, attractive offering. Also, of course, now that we're a, a registered charity, maybe Zoom will give us, you know, nonprofit access to uh, one of their higher tier plans as Slack has done. Um, so other updates from me, uh, Dre yesterday, uh, that's gonna now be Monday, afternoon regular meeting going forward. Um, they're very keen to move forward. I'm just really going to try and push to get local support onto their new system. I've got a, a session booked with their head engineer in an hour and a half to work further on that. Um, any other news? There's a big backlog of things to do. I'm, yeah, just I'm working on uh, some Slack greeter bots functionality. Um, yeah, and uh, big, big things. I've got to do DevOps Commerce Talk, get all the um, website one stuff deployed. That is me. Uh, I think uh, Pat was, was next in. Pat, how are things with you? Uh, good, thanks. So for myself, what I've done since yesterday is I added information. For, for the MetPlus project, I added some info to the wiki. Mm -hmm. wiki about us page that I received. It was derived from text I received from the client. Mm. So, Laura, you may see that on the wiki, and we can use that for your stories. I reviewed story status. We've got some stories that have been um, out there for a while that have not been worked on. I just connected with somebody yesterday, and he said he's just recovering from a uh, car accident, an auto accident. So that's so. Anyway, he committed to trying to get the story done by the end of the week. Um, that's been languishing for quite a while. I didn't know he'd been hurt. Um, I looked at Laura's new stories. They look good. I think. We'll have to give some hand-holding to people doing that, Laura, like point to assets, images, stock images and things that you would used for your designs. Yeah. Um, but I think we're good to go. Um, I talked to Hanesh, Hanesh yesterday. <clears throat> He's a fellow based in London, done some stories for us. And I asked if he'd be willing to help out with implementation, and he's good to go on that. I think he's pretty good at CSS, things like that. He's learning Rails. Um, so that's my plus. For SHF, I delivered a story. And that's about it right now. And the WikiEd product project, um, we had a session yesterday after the Scrum with um, Sajal, Inesh, Vijaya, and Arun. Arun's having a problem with the story he's working on, having to do with chained promises in JavaScript, um, which I didn't even know what that meant yesterday. So we got an education on that, but we weren't able to fix this problem after an hour or so looking at it. But anyway, we, we learned something by going through the session anyway. Um, and that's pretty much it for me. Thanks. No blockers. Pat. Great stuff. Uh, Laura, how are things going with you? Uh, good, thank you. Um, so I started writing some stories for the uh, for MetPlus uh, so that the new designs can be implemented into the site. Um, I still need to link the assets, which I haven't done yet. Um, then I just had a meeting with Craft Academy this morning, just our coaches meeting, because I helped them with their marketing, so we did that. And yeah, and that's it for me. No blockers as yet. But, but maybe sometime with you, Patrick, just to go through some of the stories, if you want. Yes, absolutely. If we can do that, that'd be great. And it, yeah. Are those user stories, or what kind of stories are they? User stories. 
And but presumably Metplus already has some existing user stories. This is adding some new ones based on some new features or new yeah, so I did some new designs for the site that the client approved. Uh -huh. So now so now we're not writing the user stories to implement these designs on the different pages. Okay, so th these are new features that would come in after the MVP release, is that right? Um, um, well, we could start on them right now, actually. Um, they don't have to wait till post -MVP. No, of course, but they're not, they're, not, they're not something that will need to be implemented before the MVP. No. no. Yeah, so, so new features, great, wonderful. Uh, thank you, Lara. Excellent, thanks for clarifying that. Uh, Michael, how are things going with you? You were muted, Michael. You've unmuted. I said good, nothing to report. There we go. Michael, always keen not to waste our time with uh, uh, other things going on, which we, which we very much appreciate. Um, excellent. Thanks for the reports. Uh, I reminded of two other things. Uh, one is, so yeah, I got slightly references back for this marketing intern who's called Marufa, and um, she's just out of uh, university, but I think very keen and enthusiastic. And she's, you know, there's some chat there in the AV Community Talk channel. I've kind of said, I've started supplying her with some stuff and saying, you know, maybe you can start to write up this is sort of a little initial task for her to sort of write a report on how she perceives, you know, Agile Ventures based on the materials that I'm giving her. Uh, so she said she'd work on that. And um, hopefully that will be, um, that will be, uh, no, uh, no I, I guess what I want to try and do is articulate our whole marketing strategy to her and see, try and find out where she can, she can help us. Um, the other thing is, I guess I'm also, Pat and JP, we are, uh, I had thought, well, when is this, is, is this budget presentation to um, Chet happening today or it was happening yesterday or what's your thoughts there, Pat? Uh, well, <clears throat> excuse me, we have a client meeting tomorrow. Right. And I haven't connected with you on this, but I think what we should do is give an outline of a budget. No, I, absolutely. You know? Yes, yes. I was just wondering when the, when the meeting with Chet was, but as I think mm -hmm. uh, JP is saying, he's... Um, you know, free in his lunchtime today. And um, yep. yeah, I mean, the, the, the key thing there is, I guess what I'm proposing is, you know, we put the crunch on Amazon, we put the um, the your Rails thing on Dree Push and uh, uh, work out some good database option and have Agile Ventures kind of wrap it in a plan that would be like, okay, this is what we, anyway, um, that's in the, 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 the AV Mentors uh, Met Plus channel. Uh, so, yep. yep. That's that's our, but we can coordinate on that later. There, that that's our scrum. And anything else uh, on people's minds that needs to be coordinated, worked out? No, fine for me. No, good here. Yeah. Um, and well, I, I will see uh, Michael. I'm asking the Dre guys if we can make the um, uh, this next Dre DevOps thing, you know, an open session because um, I, I think it would be. You know, well, you, on the off chance that you were interested in in participating slash attending, um, I don't know what your availability is today, Michael. I think it happened before, Michael. When you unmuted, that would... uh, yeah, I said maybe yesterday wasn't open. It seemed. Yeah, no, 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 no worries, no worries. I, I think that the Monday meetings will continue to may maybe be uh, uh, sort of independent from the Agile Ventures bigger thing because they tend to be like. Uh, Top level stuff. The other thing I'm thinking about is have, making like maybe using Trello to make it like a marketing board. I mean, uh, and I'm kind of conflicted about whether, you know, to, t to make everything in the marketing for Adventures completely open following the model we use for the open source versus wanting to kind of, you know, since we're that might be tracking ongoing conversations with different sponsors and so on, whether that should actually be a private uh, system. But uh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's me. Um, Pat and Laura, did, did you want to go and create another Hangout now? Yeah, sure. For I mean, yeah. I mean like, are you, are you planning to coordinate on on Met Plus? Anything else you need to work out? Uh, no, we can do that. So, Laura, do you want me to create it right after yes, this? Please. Thank you. Okay. Great. You're welcome. Stuff. Um, right. Yeah, and, and and Laura, we should touch base at some point regarding your, you know, premium plan and the, all the different bits and pieces. Um, yeah. Anyway, but whenever you're whenever okay. you're free. Okay. Perfect. Good Great. stuff. Um, Thank you. Cool. And uh, was there something else to Michael? Yeah. Uh, Isn't there supposed to be a meeting where you actually go to their offices? Sometime? Yeah, that that happened on 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 Friday. And oh, I guess, 
I said maybe summarize that on the Monday morning, the the Martin Fowler scrum yesterday. Uh, but but you missed. But I, I can I can summarize that for you again. I think Pat and Lara, you probably heard already. So um, feel free feel free to stick around. Um, but yeah, M Michael, you you're interested in a summary of the, the meeting from Monday? Oh sorry, Friday. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, I, I went to see Dre uh, in their offices in Hammersmith in London uh, Friday afternoon. And yeah, they showed me this new uh, Dre GitHub integration, which uh, basically the, the main guy Tommy had been talking about. That's kind of like rather than completely re-implementing like a Teams framework like Heroku has, um, which of course Heroku now charges extra money for, and we can't really afford to use. Um, what they've done, what they've done, Dre has done, is create this GitHub uh, integration thing. So it actually it's using a similar thing to the um, Heroku. Uh, pull request deploys, uh, or, or the same thing that like Code Climate and uh, Travis and Semaphore do when you've got your GitHub stuff and on your pull request it tells you, oh, you know, like tick, your, your Code Climate is good, tick, your Semaphore, Semaphore build is passed. What, they, what they're doing is basically you'll be able to install. Uh, I, I mean, actually, I can just, I think I can just show you exactly how it works because they just I helped them iron out a bug let me see if I can just show you rather than waving my hands around but so what it is if we go to github uh, integrations and this is this is very beta at the moment um, integrations uh, push like so oh no uh, integrations Oh, I forget where it is, but anyway, it's like one of one of these integrations. Maybe I can't immediately find it and show you. But the the idea is that you can then go to you can you can add that to your uh, repository, and so for like Add Adventures Website One, what would happen then is that you it was also any any incoming pull request or potentially any any incoming commit would get deployed and built. So what would happen is that rather than as we currently have, uh, which is like Semaphore runs the tests and then um, like set, sends the, um, you know, does the deploy to Heroku, that the actual deploy is built directly off this branch here. Um, and so then you can control who has access to like the deploy deployment using the GitHub Teams framework. Like, you know, if you're admin on the project, then you can, you, your, your build or when you when you merge it, it will push off to um, uh, you know one of your instances. Does that sorry? I kind of waffled through that. Does that make approximate sense? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I was quite excited about that because uh, as you you see, Michael, the stuff that we've been doing before with Dre has been doing SSH, and it's a bit a little bit fiddly on the command line. Um, and uh, I, I think potentially, you know, being able to manage everything entirely through the GitHub and it sort of basically takes the Heroku interface kind of out of the question, managing deployment and uh, automated deploys of PRs and so on will become a sort of a GitHub interface centric thing. Um, and so potentially much more manageable for Agile Ventures projects and ultimately maybe even for MOOC students. Um, so yeah, that was the main, main thing there. And I did um, blog about the rest of uh, the stuff. I guess it is. That, that that's 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 the that's the key central thing apart from us agreeing that we need to, to like work work uh, hard fast move forward. Oh, the other thing though is that that um so in the same way that for example uh, Code Climate has kind of a dashboard, uh, there would be you know like a Dre tick in here. So in the same way that like if we go through to here, there is a need for kind of a no kind of click on there on that tick. No, it's on these details here. <laughs> but there will be need for a kind of dashboard like this. Um, and so actually, they're talking about that potentially being a paid project that Agile Ventures Premiums could work on. Um, the guy Tom, Tommy is particularly keen on React. So um, we could potentially have a paid React project for them. And I'm trying to work out what the budget uh, for that would be. So that's exciting news. Um, uh, hopefully, we'll hear more about that later today. Great stuff. All right. All right. Um, did you go on. that one PR that's open? Are you gonna process it? On website one. I I certainly hope so. I certainly hope to. You mean uh, this one? 
Oh, I'm not showing my screen. I, I know, I know, I'm not showing my screen, sorry. Uh, you mean this one uh, support generic subscription plans? Where yeah, that's... we got a load of uh, comments from, from John. Yes, I would very much like to process this and, and deploy it. I, n I noticed that I've got to resolve these conflicts from the Twitter thing. Um, and I, I think John's stuff, I mean, I, I need to work through each of these and maybe turn them into tickets. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, if, if you wanted to uh, get in there and resolve the conflicts and maybe process John's thing and work out if any of the you know, very small and trivial changes might be made and the other ones pushed off into, into tickets, that would be very helpful. Um, All right. But uh, yeah, I'm probably going to, I'll break and have lunch now. And potentially, it, I, I think the Dree guy just told me, yeah, that um, yeah, it can be, we can, uh, yeah, he's saying like, let's record and broadcast today. So um, basically, that's in about an hour and 10 minutes from now if you want to join, Michael. What is the URL for Dree? Uh, the URL for Dree is dree.co. Dr. .co. Okay. Um, yeah, so that they've also now got their. Uh, da, 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 da. Dree is over here. Uh, yeah, so and they've got their, their two offerings are uh, Dree Push and Dree Cloud. And so Dree Cloud is this relatively expensive, you know, extremely secure one that's targeted at um, you know banks and and so on. And then Dree Put Dree this Dree Push. So um, uh, yeah, and um, yes, if you want to pop your email in there, you get, I think, automatically into um, the, 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 the current docs for the SSH vers version of, of deploying to Dree. So do, do check that out if you have, have a moment and let me know your thoughts, because uh, Dree, as our uh, key our corporate sponsor at the moment uh, of, uh, of Agile Ventures, um, you know, <laughs> we want to we wanna make them feel good about themselves. Well, or in, in the right way, of course. I guess. <laughs> not compromise my, my morals too much in that process. There we go. Right. Great, thank you. Patrick, we'll see you on the right. dark side. Will do, okay. Thanks, Laura. Ciao. Ciao. Sarah, thanks everybody. Bye.